Hi everybody, it's Grace and I have another boxed mini album and this one is made with Graphic 45's new botanical tea as you can see and uh, this is the boxed mini that is my daughter's pattern and you can uh, buy this pattern online on her Etsy channel. I'll put a link below and uh, for now I'll just show you the album and one more design that you can uh, use on this paper on this uh, project and I have a metal piece here and then I have some homemade rolled flowers and um, a swirl some little flowers some Tim Holtz little um, I don't know if you can see those yeah you can see the glare um, little clear plastic uh, um, things here to uh, accent the uh, little stamps. So we'll take a look inside and this is what we have. So I used the paper to line the inside of the box and I like blue so I did mostly blue and over here we have a little flip up I wanted to make sure that you could see this beautiful teapot sketch here and uh, there's a magnet that holds that down it's good to have there because it wants to flap out if uh, if I don't uh, then I have an embossed um, let me show you this little thing is embossed dry embossed here and uh, then there's some um, an EK success punch here and I believe these are um, I think they're memory box but no I'll, I'll check it out but anyway so this opens it has a magnet and it opens here and then you can see this gorgeous paper and you can put a photo here you could even put one here or a large one if you don't mind covering the bird but I wouldn't and then of course in the end there is a booklet and each of the booklet is are attached like this so that you have an opportunity for one two three and four photos in each booklet of these six pages so that will accommodate a lot of four by sixes uh, alone then the next page we have the gilded bird cage. There is quite a bit of glare there. I'll try to hold it over there. There's a little bit of um, glare here too. Uh, I die cut that out of uh, Sizzix die and um, this flips up and uh, then this one opens and this uh, page here is embossed as well and that closes with a magnet this uh, is a um, is a Tim Holtz alteration style, I believe. And then, of course, there is this. I did color in the roses and the leaves, but um, and then we have this page. And since it is botanical tea, I use my Spellbinders die um, shape abilities and uh, cut out this little teacup and uh, used one of the doily dies and uh, I thought that turned out pretty cute and then there's a little flower over here just a uh, hand punched inked and uh, shaped flower with a Martha Stewart uh, little um, leaf and this comes up and then you can also see here that there is a lady drinking a spot of tea and that's why I thought it would be appropriate to put the teacup on that page and then of course there is also this journaling on the back and I just love this brown predominantly brown page um, this is a piece that I made a mold from of the piece that's on the cover and then I painted it black and used a little bit of Gilder's paste to bring out the detail 
and this comes up and then the, this is a Tim Holtz alterations die as well the bird on a branch and just some little pink flowers and stickles and then this opens this is the six by six paper and then there is this booklet the bird the bird on a nest and another teacup and this is one of the little cut aparts here and some of the darling little stamps and it opens and here's another teacup facing the other direction and this magnet opens one of the little cut aparts over here this beautiful paper again and another one of the darling cut aparts And I think this is my favorite right here. Um, this is a um, Spellbinders uh, die. This is an IO butterfly. And this flips up. And then this is another IO butterfly. And let me check on this. I'm not sure. I take that back. These butterflies and this fern uh, over here are cherry Lynn dies and they are gorgeous. Just love them. But uh, and then there's some just little flowers here. And then this opens. Whoops. Can't do it one handed. There we go. And like that. And then there's this with a fern on it, place for journaling. And this is Spellbinders though. And then we have the last page, which I just goes so well with all the blue in here. And this is a little bit larger flip up here. And there we are, right there. And then here we have a little pocket on the back. And this is one of my new Spellbinders dies with this little gazebo and add some flowers. Made sure that I could read a cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend. And this is a booklet and it opens. And then we have the stamps down here. You can see the teacups here and the bird here and some birds over here and then this goes right in the pocket and there's plenty of room for more pictures and even more booklets because this is a dimensional pocket right here it goes all the way down to here so you can put something rather large in there and that's it um, I hope you like this album and if you uh, like uh, the way this box mini works, just go on my daughter's YouTube channel under Paper Hoarder Disorder or just go directly to her Etsy store under Paper Hoarder Disorder and uh, take a look at uh, the uh, patterns and uh, embellishments, uh, chipboard kits that she has. And um, you'll enjoy it so much because they are truly a lot of fun to put together and just so so convenient and I hope you liked it thanks for watching bye